Hey there, this is Alex from CHQ Store. Today we're going to be doing a setup guide for the Microsoft Xbox Connect along with the adapter kit to be used with, with the PC as a webcam. Stay tuned. Alright, so we've got our Xbox One not Xbox 360, but Xbox One Connect, which has a built-in webcam. And the, uh, connector, the connector on the end here is uh, this guy right here, which is a very strange proprietary connector. And using this kit right here, uh, the Connect Adapter Kit, we can make this work with a PC. Um, so let's see what's inside here. We have manuals couple sets of cables. Uh, let's see, this one is a USB 3.0 cable, and this one is a two-prong laptop power cable. And then we have a couple more boxes in here. We have a, if I can open the bag, there we go. Um, the connect box, which has the USB um, port here and a power port here and the connect, this is the proprietary connect sensor or uh, connector. And now we have another brick, which is more like a laptop AC adapter type of thing. Um, so let's uh, get these all connected up. All right, so I've got the four main components here laid out and let's get them all connected up. We have the power adapter, the power adapter power cord cable. So we're gonna plug these together this is going to go to the wall sorry this is going to go to the wall i'm going to drop that through my hole you probably can't see this but there's a little hole in my desk that goes to a power outlet uh this guy is going to go into the box here this one is going to go also into the back of the box this will go to my computer this because these two are going to get plugged together here all right so we have the whole setup wired up and ready to go other than the USB cable going into the PC and the power plug being plugged into the power uh, the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that stuff now. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is connect this USB 3.0 cable onto the desktop computer. So let's go ahead and walk over to the PC and get it plugged in. If it will reach. This is going to be quite the stretch here. Can we make it look pretty? All right, so we've got a big mess of cables now. Let's see if we can move these around so it doesn't look too bad. All right, so everything is plugged in. We Again, we've got the white LED here showing this is plugged in. Let's take a look at the computer itself. It does say it's setting up a new device, so that is a good sign. Let's go ahead and try the camera app on the Windows 10 desktop here. Oh, we're working. There we go, guys. Let me uh, change this a little bit there. Okay. So this is working. Um, that's some good, some good stuff there, guys. All right. So we've proved that the Xbox One Connect is really easy to connect to a PC using this adapter kit. And uh, Let's talk more about maybe the specs and things you can do with it. Um, you know, is it just a webcam like every other webcam or is there something special or different? Uh, so anyway, and let's talk about some pricing. So I'm gonna close the camera app here on the desktop and I've got a uh, Google Chrome open, uh, browser open here with some different tabs, different things we can talk about. Um, so let's talk about pricing. The Xbox One sensor itself is selling for about a hundred bucks, $99. Um, and today is July 31st, 2018, 
and this was discontinued in January of this year in 2018. So expect these prices to be only coming down. You can see that they're even selling used and new from $30. This guy is selling, one guy is selling one used for $30 plus $4 shipping. That's pretty cheap. Um, so, you know, keep in mind though, you can't just, well, I say you, you can't just plug it into your PC because you need an adapter. There's some talk about other ways to get around using, you know, to connect it without the adapter. I'm not familiar with them, so we're not gonna talk about those in this video, but let's look at what I purchased to make this work. Um, I'm here on Amazon now, and you can see there are actually a variety of different adapters sold. Uh, the official Microsoft one is right here, um, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see it better on the camera, but it's 120 bucks, so that is a pretty big ripoff. And that is a little bit frustrating, I think, mainly because uh, my understanding is that the Xbox One S, uh, the most recent Xbox, you know, regular Xbox, not the X, the one that's below it, needs this adapter to to work with the connect but i guess that's okay because they also kind of assume that if you're buying the s that you didn't want the connect because they had already discontinued the connect by that time anyway moving on most of the non um microsoft branded uh versions of the adapter are more like 60 dollars uh here's the listing that i purchased it's by some guy on ebay named thinkpan um it kind of looks like it might be a knockoff I i'm not totally sure it looked legit when I got it, it looks real. Um, you know, all the parts looked like they're branded by Microsoft, uh, but hey, I don't know. You know, they're pretty good at copying things these days. Um, so this is $49.99, free shipping, sold by this guy, he's out of San Diego. He has about 175,000 reviews with 99% positive feedback. So very trustworthy. Um, anyway, so let's move on. We've saw some pricing. Um, I haven't really talked about the specs. So this is a 1080p camera um, and it does 30 frames per second. I was actually really surprised uh, I had to Google that because they don't really advertise it very well about the 30 frames per second. 30 frames per second is pretty good because that's that's what the kind of the big um, popular web cameras are doing right now, like the Logitech C920, which is kind of the go-to webcam for most people and for especially for streamers. Um, same specs, 1080p, 30 frames per second. Um, I thought when I first turned this on, the, the camera, I thought it was slower than 30 frames per second. Uh, like, I'll do some movement here, you know, moving around. It's, the first impression seemed a lot slower, but it's actually moving around okay. I'm not too upset with it anymore. Um, I do think that the color accuracy could be better, um, but that's fine. Let's talk some more about the features though. So 1080p, as I mentioned, 30 frames per second, as I mentioned. Um, there's this, pretty useful, uh, useful article here on window, windowscentral.com that says six things you can still do with your Kinect. Most of the stuff's Xbox related until you get to the bottom where it talks about connecting it to the PC. Um, so they do say that if you connect it to the PC, you can use it as a webcam like what we were doing right here and that you can use the official software development kit offered by Microsoft. And more importantly, um, you can use the uh, Kinect as a a means to use Windows Hello, uh, a feature built into Windows 10, something I've never heard of before until I started doing this setup guide. I think that if you're following along with this guide and using the Connect at your house, you're actually gonna use it as a webcam. This is gonna be maybe the most useful part of this guide for you because this is really easy to do and it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. It's really easy. Um, so we're gonna set up what's called Windows Hello, uh, it's, which is a biometric security uh, for your PC. It's another way to log into your PC without using codes, passwords. It's going to use your face to open up your PC, kind of like the newest iPhones and Android cell phones and things like that. So um, let me zoom out here on my camera so I can give you a better view of what I'm doing on the desktop. I am just going to search. So uh, if you have Windows 10, most likely you have a search bar in the bottom left area of your uh, Windows. I have that removed, but it's the same thing as pressing the Windows key on your keyboard or just clicking the start button, which is, it's just another search bar, you just don't see it. So I'm gonna type in settings. So you can type that on your search bar or you can press the Windows key or press the start button and type it. They're all the same thing. Now I'm gonna type, or sorry, now I'm gonna press the button. I'm gonna zoom in for you so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to press accounts. And 
Now I'm going to uh, click the sign in options button. Now keep in mind, you have to have a pin set up. So if you have a pass, you, you, I think you have to have the password on your account first, your Windows account. Then you have to set up your pin in this area too, which is very fast and easy. Then you can move on to Windows Hello. Uh, so Windows Hello is right here. Um, I will zoom in a little bit more for you guys. And there's a button that says set up under face recognition. I'm gonna press that. And I should be seeing my webcam here. And then oh, let's see, get started. And I need to put my pin in. And look, see now, see me. And I think I'm done. There we go. So it's finished. All set, right? Close. All right. So let's lock the computer now to show you that this actually works. So I'm going to lock my computer. I use the Windows key and L. It's locked, right? Let's see, I'm going to zoom back out. It's locked. There's a new thing, though, that was not there before on the top middle of the screen. I'll zoom in on that right there. See that? That's new. That's kind of the detection of if it sees your face. So I think if I roll away from the, yep. So I just roll away and see that it looks kind of like a face that's looking for you, like a minion from the movie Despicable Me. He's looking for me. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, it says looking for you on the screen. I'm back that fast. It saw me. There's the smiley face. I'm going to roll away looking for you. Okay. So now I come back. I'll just press the space bar. Boom. That, that unlocked it. It was that fast. Pretty cool. I've never heard of this before. Maybe you have, but it's something new for me. So you can just set this thing up on your desk every time you come back to your computer and unlocks it instantly. You don't have to type anything. Your little brother gets on your computer or whatever and wants to start messing around with your system and deleting all your homework. Not gonna happen. Um, so anyway, that's about it for this review. Um, 1080p, 30 frames per second, and it gives you uh, Windows Hello features. Um, and uh, yeah, if you like this, if this helped you, hit the like button, uh, do us a favor and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get emails every time that we post a new video. We are planning on posting four or five videos per day uh, related to this video. Um, we've done a Logitech C920 setup guide. We did a Logitech C930E setup guide. And now we're finally doing this guide and we're gonna follow that up with a review comparing the three, uh, the three options, the connect, webcam, the C920 and the C930E. Uh, so that will be coming up next. And we're gonna be doing a whole lot of other videos like motherboards, video cards, uh, processors, computer systems, a lot of computer related stuff, systems, hardware, you, you name it. Um, we're, we're hoping to do, like I said, four to five videos a day uh, in the near future. And um, so yeah, if you could help us out by doing the likes and the subscribing, we appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. This is Alex from CHQ Store signing out.